that's a long one. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Clearly Misunderstood. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're all doing great. So today, I'm going back to school. And now, this school is not exactly my school. It's the school where my mom works. She works as the coordinator for the um, high school, grade six, seven, eight. I hope it's gonna be fun going back to school and it's really early in the morning. And in Qatar, school starts like at 7 or 8, depending on which school you go to. And my, the bus is gonna come by 6. So I'm up and run by 5. And that's early for me during holidays. Anyways, I'm really excited for today because it's been a long time. And I'm gonna meet a few teachers of mine who have shifted from my old school to this school. So let's see, I'm gonna go meet them and feel nostalgic and all of that. Let's see how it goes. So I was slightly overwhelmed of going back to school until I got this. And I don't want to reveal the name of the school, just you know, because there's a new rule on Qatar saying you're not allowed to shoot videos unless they're your permitted. So I don't want to get fined in Rials. So I'm gonna just stick to not showing the school's name. But anyway, so I was overwhelmed about coming back to school until I got this uh, visitor's pass. So I got the visitor's pass and I was like, now it's more like take your adult child to work day. For my mom and she's super excited she's like showing me as a trophy wife pun intended i am wearing uwd's trophy wife matte lipstick i'm like super scared that someone's gonna walk inside the room and then catch me using a phone in school so in my school it was not allowed and clearly it's not allowed in this school either I'm sitting in my mom's office. She's basically a maths major, but is has been promoted as the coordinator, I think six years ago. And this room cannot be generic. I mean, cannot be more generic than it can be. Cause it's got like creepy scare chairs. And the most generic thing about school rooms of any higher authority are those cups right there. For me, school is about, I'm a nerd, so, for me, school was about teachers and books and chess and board games and basketball and the huge football bells. <laughs> Definitely bells. And we have a huge football stadium in the school I studied. Oh, loud kid. Reminds me of how I was. I feel so old. You know, it just gets me the thought that I left school four years ago and wow. Oh, I think it's the fire alarm. Should I be concerned? I'm gonna go check. Okay, so it turns out to be the fire drill, so I am gonna talk to you guys later when this thing stops and it's go fire drill time. Anyways, it's fun. I don't know if I can shoot kids or something in school because I'm clearly a visitor and I'm not gonna be able to do that, but it's fun. I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it's not happening, so I'm gonna like just sit for my wait for my mom to come and give me the Wi-Fi password and if you ask me where she's gone, she's going for morning assembly. It's a very Indian thing, I've never heard uh, my American or friends from the UK talk about morning assemblies but I've heard all my Indian friends complain about them. So assemblies in morning are just conduct conducted really early and our assembly starts from 6.45 till 7 and my, my, it was bad. I don't even have words to tell you guys about it. Um, it's just like we have a thought of the day, we have a small speech, and then we sing the national anthem, and then we just go to class. It was 
kind of unnecessary. I never understood the perspective of it, but I still think it develops a child overall. Like I had an amazing sir who gave us the opportunity to go in circles. Like each student from a class gets to speak, you know, in the assembly, morning assembly. And I think that made me uh, more confident in my own self. And I think it built me overall when it comes to public speaking, which is really good. Okay, I'm starting to see the good things. Ugh. Um, what I was wanting to tell you guys before that is if you're those people who have never visited school after you graduated from school, I don't think, I think you should just charter a flight or take, a, take your car back to school. Because meeting teachers is the best thing and I love meeting my teachers. I make it a point to meet them every time I come. Because they remind me of who I am and who I've become. And I think, well, I don't know. It's kind of very nice to meet people who knew you from when you were young. Sometimes people just make mistakes and it just happens. Whereas teachers understand that. They groom you to be better. And it's a profession that people just shun now. I mean, even I have shunned it, I'm not gonna lie. But what I don't get is these teachers are the reason who we are at the end of the day. And we tend to forget that. What we learn as children is what we take with us to the grave. I hope that once in a while we realize it. Now that was Senti, but go visit your teacher. Make her smile, because a teacher's pride lies in their kids, that they've grown. And to see you grow and be an amazing person is all I ever wanted. I mean, the teacher that I love the most is the one that has hurt me the most in school. Hurt, in fact, punished me a lot. But right now I respect her, and I'd say I'd be different if she had not punished me at the right time.